Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Conan Exiles. I am I'm looking at the building, I think that roof should be flat. Yeah. I'll, I think it looks kind of kind of silly like that. Eh, well, I'm gonna leave it be for now. Because for now, we're gonna go and truncheon things. This guy also had I yes, I gave you the truncheon instead. <laughs> so it doesn't slaughter everything. Okay, so I'll leave you some gruel here. Uh, I have his greatsword here as well. Oh yeah, uh, between episodes I finally I finally moved over to proper healing items instead of the weak aloe potions and, and the old grabby bandages. So I have the better better ones now. And better ones now. And the the reason why I'm doing uh, any of this uh, capturing right now is because because I am closing in on level 50 and at level 50 I will have war party and so I can level multiple thralls at once so let's grab a few multiple thralls and actually let's probably get some of these hops as well so I can make some ale Okay, let's see who is up here. Ooh, Normtimer Fighter 3. Okay. Nice, okay. Fighter 3 would be interesting for you two. Are you a crafter of some kind? Carpenter 2. There are one, huh? Oh, this is where I really wish. Okay, better one is dead now. Give me the pack, thank you. Oh, you found somebody else still. Uh, archer too. Okay, don't care about archers. Do not give a damn about archers, but I would like you and the fighter guy. Oh. Who went somewhere? What? Um. Okay. Oh, nice. Thanks. Oh, fr friends, you bow. The what now? Okay. Well, I will take all of your things. Thank you. Um. Okay, the archer vanished as well. Uh, what, what did you do to the bodies, dude? I kind of wanted to fight her prey. All right, fine. What in the... What is did you do to the bodies, man? Okay, I'm not gonna question it. Well, at least I have a carpenter to start off. Well, let's get to uh, get a few... Let's see if we can get a few crafting thralls. I would really, 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 really like to get a dancer. I don't think I'm gonna push into the the, the into New Asagarth yet. Yeah, I don't think that is happening. I'm just gonna check these surrounding areas for now. Can you start being there? Let's um did I pick up meat bowl? What condition are these in? Oh that's those are both full. What the okay. Those are both. That means I don't need to make a steel cleaver. I just randomly found one. <laughs> okay. Well then. I ain't complaining about that. Um, no, right. You can't pick those up. There, there were hops somewhere here. Um. Oh, fighter is here. Fantastic. 
Okay, who what the fluff are you? Oh, you want Okay, you, I I want you. Dude. Oh, that that's a timing and a half. Ow. Oh, ow. I thought you fluffing her. Did she really? Why are you go all of you coming to me? Uh, what is going on with that? Okay, you take care of Janos. Okay. God damn it, this melter is really chasing me here. I forgot this Janos guy hurts a lot. <laughs> I don't think Bosaka, Bosaka will take care of him. I'm just gonna run away from this smelter for a moment. Okay. Bosaka friend, don't get killed. Thanks. Like I said, Jonas hurts. Yeah, the Bosaka should, should be able to survive that, but just barely. There we go. This is gonna be on one. Why are you chasing me still? Okay, thank you very much. Well, that was annoying. But then again, there is Janos now. It's a bearer too. Let's kill the bearer too, huh? Give me the bearer pack. Thank you very much. Now we bandage up and we drag Janos into the into the thing. Oh man, that timing to get Janos out of here. That, okay, that's good. That's a good find. That's a real good find. We got really stupidly lucky here. Okay. You're a smelter one. I don't really care about you. Do I? No, I don't. So I was th because I, I was thinking of going to get Leon, to get Leon, but if we can get Janos, that, <laughs> that's good enough start here. Get Janos instead of Leon for now. Really, really, really want those steel truncheons. And I should also, in, in all honesty, I should also run around with a shield. With a shield! In addition. Okay, if the, if that fighter three is still also hanging around, we're gonna grab that guy too. And the smelter. At least I will that will still, that will give me a smelter. Okay, who the fluff are you? Fighter one. Huh? Oh nice, the smelter is here. Random fighter one, don't care. Smelter one is not all that good, but I mean it's a smelter. It it will it will populate my my base up a little bit, so that's decent enough. Decent enough. We'll get try and get a few people and then we're gonna uh, see about um, getting the d d d d d d call that. Um, go into the, into the iron, iron thing, God's Claw Passage, that thing, that place, and get a million iron towards the end of the episode. So I can, I can get more iron done, I can build another base. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Smelter one should be here still. Oh, there's a fighter one. Hey, ow! Stop that! I just want this smelter thing. Come with me, Bazaka. That guy, that guy 
L just leave him. He's a, just a tier 2 random douchebag. I mean, Nordhammer fight, Fighter 2 could uh, I could do, do with, but right now I don't definitely don't want Fighter 1s. And frankly, I don't I don't need that many that many people. I want a few fighters to defend the stand around guard duty on the of the base, and I want a few folks here and there inside the base when I when I do the whole uh, mid hole thing. Okay, perfect. I got I got some folks now. Gorgeous. Okay, so. Mr. Janos, you hang around here for the moment, and then Fighter 3, and hang around right there for the moment, and then we have a Carpenter, and a Smelter. Awesome. Nice thing is that I just did get another steel skinny knife and one of those, and I got a frenzied bow. I don't think I will want to do much with, but I have one now. Um, these things go here. Those definitely go here and get just you know turn them into things. Hold on to the frenzied bow for now. Did I? Oh yeah, I have enough chili desert style to last for a little while now. Where was my empty? Those things there, and uh, let's put the. This is where I have this. Let's put the frenzy above there for now. All right, open supply materials. Okay. All right, nice. Five hundred iron. Very good. Five hundred iron. Let's toss it here for now, and while we are at it. Let's make another thousand of these things. Very, 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 very good. Branches. And thousand plant fiber goes here. Turn into spices. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there is that camp. Let's go check the camp on that side. Um, there is the other camp uh, across the across the place across the place do I want to go for some hops to make some ale hmm uh, maybe maybe not while I am I am trying to get thralls maybe we do that a little later let's check the other camp there is usually there is there is a guaranteed bearer spawn there which is which makes that so really nice to hope to for a bearer three to get some 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 Alchemical base. However, however, there should be, should almost always be a blacksmith or some other crafter in this base here, along with there always being a fighter of some kind in here. Yeah, I really need a shield, huh? Oh well. Oh well, another time. Come here. There is the armor three. Okay. That's gorgeous. For the north. Oh yeah. There it is. There is the start. Armor three, come with me. Why I'm not going down through there, there is a ramp right away down. Uh, but that area there, that is filled with wolves. So I'm not gonna go th down through there. And the main reason is that this guy only has the truncheon on right now. Since <laughs> I took his sword away so he doesn't just kill everybody. Okay, that was a really good find. That was a really, really, really good find, that. 
Well, the, so far, this has been really excellent. I have gotten Janos, um, a Fighter 3, Carpenter 2, a random crappy smelter, and Armor 3. Ooh, that is so good. Now I need a armor four, but this is a, this is a really good start. We are a stepping stone to the okay. Let's do a little bit more running around. Uh, what I could have done actually is to build the the the, or probably should have actually done, is to build the um, wheel of pain up here. And I honestly should do that, huh? Allow me to run to that camp and that camp, but the uh, thing is, what I really eventually want to do is start going, start being here to capture thralls. This is really nice place. Uh, these three towers, and there are a couple ways up and down around here, uh, which means that I can build a um, wheel of pain down somewhere here or here, and then run uh, back and forth to from there. That's where I really want to do a thrall capturing in a little bit, but right now I'm just getting, uh, seeing if I can get a few uh, interesting thralls. Or, or, get started on it. Get started on, on getting thralls for my base and stuff, and then eventually eventually we do do it more you know, properly let's put it that way. There is also the camp on the other side of New Azagarth. Yeah, there is always this crafter, uh, crafter spawn here. Smelter one, okay. Your death will be as meaningless as your okay. That doesn't help that much. Okay, you guys come all the way out of there. That's a fighter two, and what is the other one? Tender one, okay. The great joy of slaying. Yeah, tenor one not that interesting. There should be one more. Here we go. Another fighter too. No, it's an archer too. Okay. Did we find any anything interesting for loot? No, oh, I'll loot it. Don't really care about the archers. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't really care about the archer. Do I want to fight R2? No, I don't. We can go and get Leon, I suppose. What the hell did you do with all the bodies again? You stop eating them! Like, seriously. What the... What is going on here? <laughs> okay, let's run back a little. Let's see if they re reset the, the, the... Laying on the ground. That's a, that's mildly annoying. I don't want any archers. I don't care about archers. I'll, I'll just put it that way right now. This is not... This is not PvP. I don't care about the archers. Okay, let's see if that's far enough to maybe have them laying on the ground. Another one, eh, fine. Another smelter one, not really all that great. But maybe, maybe having them, alright, seem to be laying here now. Let's uh, check what this guy is. Oh, that's a taskmaster. Alright, I'm having you. Okay. I mean, I can come here and grab that smelter, but the taskmaster we are having for sure. We are having the taskmaster for sure. I'm gonna stick him in the... in the... Uh, tier 1 Taskmaster doesn't really do much of anything though. But I'm gonna stick him uh, in the torturer's table so it look there's another, you know, thrall just hanging around and staring staring at the table. Okay. 
Suppose we get the other smelter one. Probably like the uh, crafting tables with somebody. Okay, so what is this? Painting. Hardened bricks. A pillow. Okay. Got a couple of war paints. Ew. You got a horn. Yeah. Battle of the North Banner. Alright. Don't think I want one of those though. Le okay, layered fur is really good. Bat skin. I don't remember Batskin doing anything useful. Hmm. I don't, might remember wrong, but I don't think you needed that for anything specific. But layered fur is a really good find, holy moly. And another steel skinning knife. Wait, is that... Really, game? Really? Okay. Well then. Man, loot is... Loot is insane. How good is the loot for killing Kimmerins? Can I get... Can I just get myself a um, star metal weapons by killing them now? Is that the thing? Okay, who are you? Carpenter one, okay. You we definitely don't want. Yeah, I'll take the smelter one. Carpenter one, don't care. Just a... Just a carpenter. Just a carpenter, dude. Don't particularly care about that. Smelter one, yeah sure. There was a the tanner one as well, right? I guess this is the correct point to remind remind people that this is single player, right? This is single player, which means that this sort of uh, run back and forth, re uh, running back and forth, for or running far enough from a camp resets the camp. The NPCs of the camp, which means that I can do this sort of like run back and forth and just have this uh, the crafter, you know, respawn as something else. Just like this thing just respawned into the one skull boss. <laughs> okay, that is funny. That is funny. Okay. And also a uh, reminder that I have changed some of the set settings as well, including including that the Wheel of Pain churns these guys out almost immediately, almost instantly. So I don't have to sit around waiting for hours for the Wheel of Pain to do its thing. Okay, another carpenter one. What the? Ah! What is this now? You're a tenor one. I mean, there is the fighter two here still as well. You technically grab the fighter two. So, carpenter one. And a car <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. Give me a, a, an armor four. Give me an armor four. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna gra grab the fighter two. And um, and see if there is somebody else interesting respawned over there. And after that, we are gonna go and get a bunch of iron and stuff. Because I did get the uh, extra fighter I really wanted to. Like I said, I was originally thinking it would have to be Leon, but we we just did find Janos, so that guy that guy will work. That guy will work. We'll give him an ancient maze and, and, and make him do work for us. 
level him alongside the Basaka and then get the uh, get Leon once we have uh, steel um, steel stuff. Let's um, yeah, grab these guys all over here. Take them in in a bench here, in the benches here. I have another smelter. And I have a tanner for the tannering table. And torturer's table. Taskmaster on the torturer's table. And he gets to stand in, in the in the rain, that's fine. And then we have an armor three, which is just a gorgeous frilly thing pined, holy moly. I mean, even even without the Janos, uh, this would have been really successful, huh? Now let's go grab the uh, fighter too. Fighter two. Okay, level forty nine in a little bit. And now it is no longer the one skull boss. <laughs> okay. This is this, this sort of like resetting thing makes the single player a little silly at times. However, there is also the fact that um Tier 4 Thrall does not like if you change the settings and whatnot, Tier 4 the Thrall does not take 24 hours to come out of the Wheel of Pain. Well granted, okay, it is less than 24 hours because you're Probably sticking it into something else than a um Oh hello, who are you? Well then, you are having you. You're not tier four, but that's okay. That, that gives me a Ymir priest. <laughs> okay. This is this is nice so far. Quite nice. We got some some of the uh folks we want. One of the goals I set for myself for this um, Queen of the Queen of the Snow, as in Queen of the North, is to have a uh, tier four Ymir priest in the Ymir shrine, and we will start. We will really have to start looking for that, huh? That's going to going to start happening fairly fairly soon. To spend the hours looking for tier four Ymir priest. But this guy, this guy will do for now. This guy will do for now. We have a, have a, some kind of a humor priest. Okay, perfect. I still want a tier two fighter though. A fighter two, still want that. If he is still laying around, anyway. I think they should be laying around for about 15 minutes, so... Should have enough time easily still to, to gra grab the guy. Um, oh, my... 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 Rawhide bindings are almost broken. I did have an extra pair. Uh, or extra set, I suppose. Extra coil of rope. That's fine. Level 50. We get the... Uh, Thick leather versions anyway, so so that's fine. Feather dancer. Use this. Okay, is the fighter two still laying around somewhere here? Huh? No, don't seem to be. There is just one carpenter laying around. Okay, well, another one. Well, that's a fighter two. Huh? Ow! You actually hit me with that. Ah. 
Uh, here's the question. Do I want the entertainer? I kind of need a dancer eventually. But honestly, I would prefer a lady dancer. Take that uh, how you will, but I would prefer a lady dancer. But I'm taking this fighter too, for sure. Then I'm gonna do one more run here. If that entertainer is still laying on the floor, we are grabbing that. Uh, unless unless the, the uh, respawn dude is something really interesting. But man, armor 3. Holy moly. If it had been an Armorer 4, that would have been insane. Absolutely insane. But 3 is already fine, so... Already fine enough in Armorer 3. It's another taskmaster, judging by the clove. Yeah, I don't think I want the I don't think I want another taskmaster one. I'll just take this entertainer. Then at least I have a dancer who can who can uh get rid of my Corruption. Whenever I go jump into somewhere which gives me corruption. Which is probably, uh, you know, just dungeons and stuff. Eventually I want to run a few of the dungeons. Or, I will have to run a few of the dungeons since I said that I would uh, destroy uh, the... Degenerate. Degenerate. That's my goal. And he happens to be the final boss of Well of Skelos, which is a dungeon. So. Will this will this last? Oh yeah, it will last. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can get rid of it. This here, give me that. You know what? Give me that too, huh? You, mister, uh, give me that and you can have your greatsword back. And you folks, come with me. Alright, I need to place these two, huh? Put the dancer around this shrine, eh? Somewhere here. Dance for the shrine. Then we put... The uh, Ymir priest here. I have some eye shard arrows for for doing things. Okay, now we have a Ymir priest, at least some kind of a priest. Not a crazy good one, but some kind of a priest. And you, you can hang around here. What do you guys come out of it? You, you do come out with hardened steel gear, huh? What do you have? Oh yeah. <laughs> I am so tempted to steal that off you. I am so tempted to steal that off you. Give me a spear, damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. The fact that we got found one of these is also pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Okay. Um, oh. Did I... Uh, uh, well, apparently I made a few of those, huh? 
Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We have a few of them. That's okay. Um, Let's uh, stick random things in here for now and sort them out later. And not the meat. The meat is going to go into... Into... I'm going to toss in here with all the other hardened bricks. The meat is going to go into the box here. It doesn't go bad. There we go. And now, Osaka friend, let us go and... You know what? We can just run up from here, right? There's the ramp right next to the base. Let us go get a whole lot of iron for the end of end of this 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 episode. We got a bunch of people. Now we got grab a bunch of iron. I should have switched outfit to the gathering outfit, but eh. I mean, in the uh, after all, I am running full twenty expedies for beast of burden, so it doesn't really matter what I am equipped with. That's a little matters a little bit if I if I do combat and whatnot, but he he is with me to handle the combat. <laughs> that guy handles the combat for me, so he's been handling the combat for me since level eleven. Man, that was that was amusing as heck. This is also uh, back here. This is a against this mountainside here or a cliff face. Building a base right there is kind of kind of nice. Uh, I don't ever want to do that on a multiplier because I don't want uh, well, especially once for with PvP because I don't want people to blow up my base and find it all that easily and simply. But it's still a fairly nice location to build a base. And also you get to be near, very near the Nyasagar for the, the, the for the thralls. Or Nordheimer thralls. Okay. Um, kill those. Will you? Well, I start getting iron. No, okay, you killed it already. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. So, go home with something like 15,000 iron. Seems reasonable. And hopefully level uh, 50. Or at least we're gonna be quite close to level 50. You should check. Did the Basaka hit level 10 yet? I'm gonna see. Dude, did you hit level 10 yet? No, you're level 9 still. I was wondering what the first perk is. You're gonna get. How much uh, re rolling of perks do I have to do on you? Then again, I generally don't do perk re rolling. It doesn't matter all that much overall. The thralls in uh, thralls are already strong enough that they're okay. Um, that the the uh, summon perk real rolls don't really matter that much. Granted, there are the few bosses um, that absolutely just destroy thralls, but uh, and and 
those are the about the only situations where uh, having certain specific thing on the thrall might actually let it live, like plus 15 vitality uh, per crawls. But those bosses are so very specific, you can generally avoid them. Generally, I'm saying not, not always, but generally. And, uh, and, and you can prepare for them, generally. The Rock Nose boss, with absolutely insane amount of armor, that's uh, one of the two. I would say there is basically two bosses. That one and the boss which was, which was specifically designed to destroy Thralls, uh, Arena Champion. The other thing which has like absolutely insane amounts of armor. Arena Champion is a very, in a very specific location, which can be circumvented, you, 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 you don't have to fight her, you don't have to worry about her. Honestly, the rewards for fighting her are kind of useless in general, unless they changed. I don't think they did, though. But there is obviously some fun in just fighting Arena Champion. We broke 10,000 iron now. I like this place. This place is fantastic. Oh, starting to get light enough, I can put the torch away. So, uh, just, to, just in case you didn't know, God's Claw Passage, like right here on the map. God's Claw Passage. Which I call Iron Passage because I never remember the actual name. There is this. This is just the highest concentration of iron on the entire um, Exile Lands map. You need massive amounts of iron. You come here. You can also get a whole lot of stone from here, but stone is kind of everywhere. There are certain. I suppose essentially larger concentrations of a stone. But this is this is the one place where it's like Well I am over twelve thousand iron now. And I am using a steel pick, I am instead I don't I am not even using a um like a hardened steel or a black blood or star metal pack. I would have even more if I was using those. And also we just hit level 5. And it's gorgeous. I think I have walked past a few nodes during the night. As in Iron Nose, but we'll take them on the way back.
I was trying to remember. Possibly I was just talking about the different packs. I was trying to remember when was the last time I did anything with the damn Asheronian, Acheronian, whatever, however you wanna call them. Um, tools or weapons. I don't remember the last time I actually built those because it's like getting into the um, in the star metal is not that difficult. And generally uh, past the the black eyes I don't just don't bother because the jump from black eyes to star metal is not large enough to really matter. The the way the like jump from stone to iron or from iron to steel those are the like massive jumps. Obsidian uh, is is frankly would be but the, my issue with obsidian is that it's so annoying to make. Almost 20,000 iron now. There we go, 20,000 iron. Yeah, I walked past those. Well, we are taking them as well. Then we are heading home. Hmm, more. Like I said, largest concentration of iron on the map. Twenty-five thousand. Right. At least this gets me places. I also hit level, almost hit level fifty-one as well in the process. Hmm. Decent enough. Okay, now we go home. <laughs> now we go home. You know what? Let's grab some more stone as well then. Spend a little time on that. Grab a bunch of stone. Oh, there is even more iron. I, I thought I got everything from this side, but apparently I didn't. Well, apparently I did not. Because my pick is not entirely broken yet, so let's grab a little bit more. Grab a little bit more. Okay. Almost got to level 51 as well. That is good. That was that was really nice. Turn all of this stone into into things as well. 
I seen uh, turn out a bunch of what you might call it um, bricks into hardened bricks, or maybe some of it gets turned into salt, so I can make more chili desert style. We'll see. We shall see. I had something like 1700 Highland Berry Pulp now. Actually, all of this crystal can get can get turned into into salt. And once we go into the um, into the, 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 the bloody heck, what is that called now? In the spider caves, we can get the uh, crystals from there for salt. I do need to smelt some more crystals though for, for um, more flasks. Make more booze. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm finding ho iron on the way home as well. I forgot there is some on this on this mountain side here. All right. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Jeez, look at... I'll take the hardened steel bars out of the way. And both of those things. Look at the amount of. And you. You get these. Turn into salt. Thank you. Toss some bark here. How's you doing? Alright. Awesome stuff. Actually, let's leave these here. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, we can we can make another base sometime soon. Damn. Damn. That is cool. Alright. Hardened steel bars here. Um, fine. I will. I will just leave these here, in this one. And with all of that, I'm gonna call it an episode right here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you folks next time with more Conan Exiles.